Hey people, how's it going? Oh god. I'm having medical issues. <laughs> I have an itchy tummy that I'm trying not to scratch. And it's just itching. Because every time I move, something rubs against it and it itches. <coughs> That's right, Dorn. He barked those motherfuckers. Alright, we're in Lothering. Yay. And what were we doing? I go over here. Kid. It's on the chanter's board. Bandits everywhere. I mean, cause we've basically already done it. So okay, oh, we talked to her. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My half is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. That's the same voice as Jowen. Ah, uh, sup? <laughs> <laughs> Smile back. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. He touched in the head? <laughs> no, he's a chanter. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Ah, so he's like the chanters at uh, Candlekeep. Okay. Although they could talk. Anything of interest? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Alright, there are th oh, these are different bandits. Okay. They will take your children. Oh, shut the fuck up, mate. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. Yeah, there yeah. is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague <sighs> of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Anybody going to shut him up? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the Black Horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Don't be a fool. No, I have seen them. You cannot run! You cannot fight! Well, standing around and shouting won't save you. There is nothing to do! No hope is left! Now, well, I think you misunderstand our resources. Are you calling me a coward? Calling you an idiot. I, I have shamed my ancestors. Basically, slapping him in the face. The will come. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Oh, not you too. Oh my God! Just get going. Why is this happening? Because we're we're all naughty as children. Your king is dead. 
Shut the fuck up, mate. You have a name. You're just a Templar. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. Ah, uh, so you're closed? We turn none aside, but we, we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, did you know there are bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Well, so Brian will appreciate that. Okay, that's who we gotta talk to. Alright, bye. Make her watch over you. Alright, now that we got a name, we can talk to this guy about possibly a reward. Named man. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Amen, brother. Yes, my lady? Who might you be? Finally, someone who knows. Great Warden Garion. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. Ah, uh, he said we were responsible? And set a bounty on any who survived. Oh, Jesus. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Okay. Yeah, about the bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Um, they won't bother you. I, uh, I killed them. All of them? By yourself? What help? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they asked for it. Will you accept a small reward for your service? Yeah. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. Mm. The Chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Mm. Are you this big outside of the armor? Info. If the matter is important, certainly. Recent news? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Logain is set to declare himself king, I hear. <laughs> disaster piled on disaster. So, Kaelin had no heir? None that we know of. Teon Logain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Uh, what's wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. All right, I'll see you. Travel it. safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Don't scratch. Don't scratch, Nancy. Don't scratch. Let's get started. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn <gasps> Logain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Logain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Mm-hmm. Uh, so your quest brought you here? I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. 
Uh, well, tell me more about the urn. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Uh, I'd like to hear. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. Oh. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Who's Sir Henrik? My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Yeah, he didn't happen to have a necklace, did he? What? And you have his locket? And a note? Yeah, Make sure. His mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I dealt with the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Well, uh, I kind of need to talk to the Arl. Why is that, if I may ask? Um, can we trust him? I need his help. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Okay, so is there any point to going to Redcliffe? He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. All right, I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. You know, we probably should have read that note before we handed it over. Oh, well. And when the maker spoke, chant of light. Oh, boy. The, the word dispel fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. But those who have sinned, you ever wonder be if that's an accurate likeness of Andraste? Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. How will we know? Right. It's the best guess. Damn it. And then shall the maker return to the black city in heaven. And then shall the chant of light make it pure. Oh my god. be humble. Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. Please save me from this. Hey, ma'am. A book? Will Mom? you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Uh, what tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? What? Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you then? You can keep your fucking mouth shut. A grey warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tan Logan declared the grey wardens to be outlaws. Yeah, and I gave you 30 silvers. Tan Logan? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else. Can you provide any help? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else. Can you give us a blessing? For a Grey Warden? Yes, you have a difficult road to walk, don't you? <sighs> oh God, I hate this part. In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over her path, O Maker. Give her light 
in darkness. So let it be. Amen. Now, if there is nothing else. Nope. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Jesus fucking Christ! You better keep your mouth shut for thirty silver. Shut up. Shut up, guy. All right. Bandits everywhere, yo. Mother, where huh. are you? There really was a path. I thought they were on the other side. <laughs> Oops. We need a pack pack stat. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. Okay, that's great. <laughs> A tavern! Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it. As if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. Alright. Into the bar. Well, look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Christ. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. You want to fuck with a priest with a sword? That's never a good idea. You want to fight? Let's do it. Right. Let's make this quick. Touch me. All right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Really, take a message to Logan. What do you want to tell him? He'll pay for what he's done. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. So I see, where does a sister learn to fight? I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Oh, well, my name's Gary, and it's nice to meet you. They said you were a Grey Warden. I'm surprised you're an elf. But elves must want the Blight defeated as much as humans, no? I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. Yeah, 
care to elaborate? I, I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream, a vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Shut up, Alistair. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Well, I'm gonna need more than prayers. I can fight. I can do more than fight. As I said, I was not always a lay sister. I put aside that life when I came here. But now, if it is the Maker's will, I will take it up again. Gladly. Please let me help you. All right. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Shut up. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Oh, choices. Indeed. There we go. So let's save. Dean's Refuge, nice. Pause. Inventory. Eliana. Put that on. What do you have? Enchanted Iron Dagger. That's probably the best she's got. And put on some studded leather armor. There we go. Alright, let's look at her stats. There we go. Not bad. She's a bard, rogue. Okay, that seems good. So I'll save again, and uh, we'll pick it up Monday. I will see you then.